Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I am so excited to finally plant up this Onduce urn planter for the main growing season. And I'm gonna focus on plants that have beautiful foliage and textures and patterns. The centerpiece is the Color Blaze Golden Dreams Coleus. I've been growing this Coleus every single year for five years now. It is an extraordinary Coleus. It gets I think it gets to like, see, 24 inches to 40 inches tall. If you grow it in the shade, you'll get more of the chartreuse green. In the full sun, uh, the chartreuse becomes this beautiful golden yellow. Front and center will be the Bewitched Beyond Midnight Sweet Potato Vine. This is the Cherry Drop Coleus, also from the Color Blaze line. This is a wonderful filler and spiller, and I absolutely love the, the colors. Right here, this is a Swedish ivy. This is Plectranthus guacamole which grows to about two feet by two feet it's more of a spreader it's a little pot bound I'm gonna grow it I think this direction I'm not sure about the ivy yeah the ivy is too much it's a couple days later and I've changed my mind the whole time when I was watching the video I noticed the elephant ears Hawaiian punch that was planted in this pot back here. This Hawaiian punch called Acacia elephant ears has been in my garden for, I think this is the third year now. I just thought about it, I was like, my goodness, the Golden Dreams coleus, which I have back here, and the guacamole plectranthus, and the cherry drops coleus. I just thought that the yellow was just too much. I needed some green, I needed some lush green color, and when I noticed the elephant ears in the background, I just thought it would be a great fit as the centerpiece of this combo. This is such a vigorous grower. This as well, all the gaps will be filled very, very soon. In addition, these are Goldilocks Creeping Jenny that I pulled from other parts of the garden and I wanted them to be back here. The Goldilocks Creeping Jenny will just spread within this space right here the space right here, and then spill over the edge of the urn planter. You can take a look here from the top. A lot of people plant their containers just completely packed from the beginning. I just like to, to give my plants room to grow. And this pot itself, it's about 18 inches in diameter. The soil, there's enough soil reservoir for all these plants to root in and to have space for the roots to grow. All right, voiceover time, because at this very moment, my microphone battery went out. So I tucked in all the spaces with soil, and I pulled each plant back very carefully, and I pressed in the inner perimeter of the pot and added more soil accordingly, and voila, all planted up. So I'm adding some slow-release fertilizer. This is a Spoma plant tone. This is a 533 formula just sprinkle it in I'm watering in quite well because I want to make sure that all of the crevices all of the air pockets are filled in the nutrients from the fertilizer are released as well into the soil into the roots of the plants 